it, I think what what the administration did in the Soleimani case is, is absolutely correct. I think it's the right do thing. Do you wish to do. that you had done it? Sorry. Do you wish that you had done it in your time in government? Um, well, I think we were doing it in the sense that we were really looking hard for Osama bin Laden. While I was in the White House, we found the house that he was in. It took another year to, you know, to be pretty sure that he was there. Um, so I, I, you know, I think the I think the Obama administration tried to find the the terrorist that, that was the most wanted guy in the world. In the world, Soleimani is now the next guy. So. Uh, I give them credit for doing that, and I think it was the right thing to do. And, and I think it's, as articulated by the president, uh, it's a potential game changer. I would not, I would not let up. Though. I would not let up, and I would not uh, listen to the uh, appeasers of the world who kind of want to calm the waves and let's let's get back to normal business. And then you have Iran using its proxies to uh, spread terror around the world and interdict shipping, you know, shoot down drones and things like that. Those days, I think, are over, and I hope Iran understands that. Do you believe that our allies in this part of the world should vocally back us up yes. on this? Yes. Because we've seen them in the last several months having back-channel conversations, trying to calm the situation with yeah. Iran. Is that a mistake, or is that something that they have to do? I think there's uh, two messages. One is the public message uh, because of the proximity of uh, Iran. I, mean, I, I, I think that this part of the world looks, looks at Iran the way that we should and that, and that it's an existential threat and a very close nearby threat. So that's concerning. Uh, on the other hand, in the private discussions behind, behind the scenes, uh, I'm hopeful that uh, the U.S. and our allies here are actually working hard to make sure that um, they know that we are supportive. I, I, think, um, I think the region should seriously think, as you and I have talked about a couple of years ago now, I think, a NATO-like organization here in the, in the Gulf, one that's, and I know they have uh, this MESA organization. Uh, but I know the big NATO would, would be happy to help them do that. I don't think we should bring NATO troops in here to do that, but I think you're going to help um, our friends and allies in the region to save a lot of money and become much more effective, uh, much more interoperable, and in the face of an existential threat, provide uh, a better share of their own security with us being, a, you know, a, a, Supportive. Do you believe that there's a chance that in the annals of history, the Trump administration, the Trump presidency, could end up being, against all odds, one of the most successful of the 21st in century? In the Middle East? Yeah. Uh, um, I guess, in, yeah, I, 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 think, I think it's possible. Um, this was a powerful step. Uh, we'll see where it goes. It's comp this is a complicated region. But um, but I think we I think history will record will say that um, this was the right thing to do.